Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Welcome back from Fox News. Check out Kamala Harris, Naval Academy graduation punchline. Just ask any Marine today. Now, I can't show a President Biden gaffe or creep gaffe, creepster, whatever term you want to use, without showing a Kamala Harris uh, embarrassing moment. Harris's speech also touched on cybersecurity, the coronavirus pandemic, and climate change. There's the buzzword now. Insurrection, white supremacy, climate change. Climate change is the new pandemic. That's the way they can keep the narrative and keep control. Because I just, just here in upstate New York today, I walked into my grocery store shopping every week, and masks aren't required unless you're vaccinated. Okay, things are loosening up. They can't pound on that drum anymore. So climate change can go forever because it's never going to be solved. Let's read on. It was an energizing speech. Uh, I, whoever wrote this, we'll see here. Who wrote this? Michael Ruiz. Mike, I like your sarcasm already in your first line. Vice President Kamala Harris made a joke about green electricity during her commencement speech at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis Friday. Just ask any Marine today, would she rather carry 20 pounds of batteries or a rolled-up solar panel? And I am positive she would tell you a solar panel, and so would he, she said before laughing. You know, that Hillary Clinton laugh she has. It's amazing to me, and the weird part is, you still have to have batteries, you genius. The solar panel collects the energy, puts in the batteries. You still have to carry the batteries around. Oh, God. We're, we're going to go back here. I'm going to show you at the end her uh, her great, great um, joke. I, I'll tell you what. I know during, like, the Tonight Show and a lot of the – late night comedy shows they have writers that write these things and then of course the people that do the shows look over them and I'm sure she has the same she looked over this and approved it uh, I would have fired these people a long time ago but it came after she told electrical engineering graduates they would be responsible for converting wind and solar energy into combat power dun da da G.I. Joe oh can't do that anymore G.I. Jane, G.I. Joe Jane, G.I., you know, whatever. You are electrical engineers, and you will soon help convert solar and wind energy into power. Solar, Convert solar and wind energy into combat power. Dun, da, 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 da. Oh, that's a Superman uh, theme, sorry. Critics on Twitter were quick to note the solar panels generally still require batteries to store energy as is collected from sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Harris's speech also touched on cybersecurity, the coronavirus pandemic, and climate change. Yeah, I can't go, go over too much on that coronavirus pandemic. Got to beat that into the ground. And then, of course, you just dovetail nicely into climate change so you can have more power and control. She warned that cyber crimes like the recent Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack could present a new frontier in international conflicts. Just think. A deadly pandemic can spread throughout the globe in just a matter of months, she said. A gang of hackers can disrupt the fuel supply of a whole of a whole seaboard. One country's carbon emissions can threaten the sustainability of the whole earth. And there it is. Climate change. She also became the first woman to deliver a keynote commencement address at a Naval Academy ceremony. Who gives a crap? So she's the first woman, so what? Servicemen and women currently rely on high-tech lithium-ion batteries to power weapons, sensors, and other devices during night operations. 
I'll tell you a little interesting little tidbit that I read and confirmed a long, long time ago. Well, I'll say two of them. When I had, considering climate change, when I had my store here, I recently sold for over 23 years in upstate New York. It's in a low-income area and also a high area of students from New York City, all liberals, and we're upstate, so I might as well be on Mars. They go to college here. And they get to decide who the council person is, even though they don't live here permanently, but I digress. Got into an argument one day with a girl about climate change, and she's from New York, and I said, well, you're familiar with Central Park, right? She says, well, of course. There's not a gigantic boulder that's there. I mean, the really, really huge one is like the size of a house. She said, yeah. I go, how do you think it got there? And she's like, now remember, these, this, SUNY Binghamton's a pretty good school, so you can't be a dummy to get in there, supposedly. She's like, hmm, um, I said glaciers, which basically covered North America just below New York and all the way across what is currently in the United States. She says, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And I said, and guess what? They're not here anymore. All the glaciers melted and receded and dropped the stone where it currently sits. She said, yeah. I said, that was long before people were here, or at least in this part of North America. She said, yeah. I said, it was climate change. The climate's been changing on and off. With, I think they estimate between 15 and 20 ice ages back and forth. I go, of course it's changed. It's constantly changing. That's why you find seashells in the Sahara Desert because it used to be underwater. And she starts arguing with me. Well, it's good. I says, you know, I'll stop being a skeptic on this climate change uh, fear you're putting into people. When people like John Kerry, President Obama, and many other, the climate changer uh, uh, proponents, stop buying beachfront property. And she said, F you, when she walked out the door. Another little tidbit on my second part of my climate change scam, I call it. I was reading about the Clovis people. I guess right around currently where Georgia, Arkansas, right around that part of the current United States, they were trying to determine, archaeologists, how long homo sapiens, humans, have been in uh, North America. When did they first get here? How long ago? That's pretty cool stuff. And they, I forget how many thousands of years ago, but they found some remains and some, uh, they dug up some things they were much, much, much earlier than previously thought. Many thousands of years earlier, by the way. And then according to their diggings and their investigation and the tools they used to date things, then they found that they just basically vanished. They just, and then for, for a long time, probably a thousand plus years, a new set of people came in and, of course, you know, we know the rest. And they couldn't figure out why these people just vanished. Why didn't they flourish? Until they came to the conclusion, guess what? It was climate change. The climate changed and they couldn't survive. So they perished and got wiped out. Climate change has been going on for a long, long, long time. And it will continue to go on for a long, long time. This is this is the this is the golden ticket if it goes at least you watch Willy Wonka. This is the golden ticket for the progressives and the leftists. This climate change thing. You can't prove it. You can't prove me wrong either. It's not a big of a lie as we're hunting black people with police and killing them. That's just a huge lie. This one is a lot more finesse. Has a lot more finesse. And there is no solution. If you, I'll leave you with this before I show the clip of Vice President Harris. You get into a discussion with anybody that's a huge climate change advocate, and we're all going to die in 10, 15 years, and blah, 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 blah. You ask them about nuclear power. And if they go, oh, no, 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 unless they're willing to discuss, and there's been huge advances, by the way, in nuclear reactors and nuclear power, unless they're serious about nuclear power, 
they're blowing smoke up your ass. It's impossible without nuclear, with our current technology. 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, who knows? But currently, you cannot, the carbon emissions from the coal plants, those electric cars, by the way, the electricity is coming from coal-generated plants. Just because you can't see the gas and pump it in doesn't mean it's still not putting carbon emissions. These people are ridiculous. Make a long story short, unless they're willing to really seriously consider nuclear power, they're blowing smoke up your ass or they're clueless, one of the two. More than likely clueless. They're not genuine. It's just something to talk about to sound virtuous to make you sound better than other people. But anyway, let's uh, take a little look here of our current vice president. I like this. The Biden humiliation of our military continues. Use wind energy for combat power. Who the hell writes this crap? Anyway, here's the, here's the video. And just ask any Marine today, would she rather carry 20 pounds of batteries or a rolled up solar panel? And I am positive she will tell you a solar panel. And so would he. <laughs> the American people are depending on you. Oh, my God. Really? And they're clapping on the politeness. Yeah, there's progressives and leftists in the military, too, more and more every day. This, folks, is going to be the next president of the United States. If that doesn't get your attention and scare the bejesus out of you, I don't know what will. Until next time, folks, goodbye and good luck. Thank you.